So this is what we're gonna be creating in this video. Before we start, I just wanna tell that I get the idea for building this scene from one of the atmospheric scene video from Render Rights. He's an amazing guy with tons of such video. Okay, to start off, we're gonna add a plane for the ground and scale it up. Then we're gonna subdivide the plane and add the subdivision surface modifier. Then we will enter sculpt mode and start sculpting the plane. We can also use a displacement modifier, but for now, I will keep it as simple as possible. Now it's time to add tree. So for that, we go to preferences and enable sampling tree add-on. This will allow us to add the pre-model tree provided by Blender. Now press Shift A and under curve add the sampling tree. Do some tweaking with the settings. Increase the branch size and finally enable the leaves and scale them up. So now we have two types of trees and we are gonna duplicate them all over the plane. Also adjust the scaling of some tree so that they look different with respect to other. Now we are gonna add a camera and with our desired wave press Ctrl plus Alt plus Zero to grab the camera to that wave. Then I expand one side of the workspace and enable image view. So this is the image scene I will try to make. Not exactly but as much as possible from my side. Now we gonna select all the trees and press M to move to the new collection name tree. I will do the same thing for leaves and this will help us to keep our workflow more organized. Then I did some more sculpting and add more sapling near the camera. Now for inserting the grass all over the plane, I will be using Blender's particle system. So first for reference, I will move one sapling outside the weave, then select the plane and add the particle system. Then select here. Next we go to render and select render as object. And then just select the object as the sapling we placed outside. This will create this grass all over the plane. Now we want the grass on the plane area which is just visible in camera view only and not the whole view code as this may slow down the rendering. So we go to the weight paint mode and select the area we want the grass over. Then in the object data property, you may see the vertex group form. So we go to the particle system and select density as vertex group. Further, for more correction, in the weight paint mode, we will subtract some part which is of the camera view. Then I did some small changes in the pattern of tree and also added a small trunk in the scene. Now it's time to add the texture to the scene. So we're gonna first give branch texture. For that, add the image texture. I will also add a Wrangler add-on and select the image and press Ctrl T. This will add the Wrangler node to allow us to tweak the image. Then add the normal map and connect color to color node and stand to alpha node. Then add bump node and connect normal to normal and alpha to height node. Then we're gonna select all objects in the tree collection, select the texture branch and hit Ctrl L and select the material to link texture to all. This will give the same texture to all the branches available in the scene. Do the same node arrangement for leaves also and then apply it to all the leaves instances. Now for the base, I add noise texture, then press Ctrl T for adding the Wrangler node to that texture. Then I add the color ramp. This will give the combination of two texture. Then simply add the soil texture with all the normal map and the bump map and do the same thing for the grass texture also. Then I add the mix shader and connect the output of these two textures and finally connect the fact to the color node of the color ramp. This will give the combination of two texture. We let us scale up the Wrangler node and we got this. Now we gonna enable the grass particle. Then in the modify section, click on the convert to convert it into the mesh object and then move all this object to a new collection named grass. Then select all the grass and select the linking material to link the texture. Finally, in the world shader, we gonna add volume scatter node Drop the density to 0.02 and give a nice blue color. Then we add the sunlight and adjust the alignment of the light. Then again in the world shader, we add the principal volume node and then the adder node and connect the output of both the two nodes to the adder node and connect the adder node to the volume node. Then give the color to the light we have added and do some proper alignment of the light to get the correct light in the scene. And we are done. 